So there was a judge we were in front of not that long ago, I wanna say a couple months ago. I think their opinion is appealable. Another really annoying thing about family court is unless it's something super serious, you can't really appeal until there's a final judgment, but a divorce or a custody case can take so long and you might get a temporary order that is just absolutely horrible. It's very hard to do something about it in the interim. Basically, our client had a restraining order against the other parent. Typically, if the other parent reaches out as an attorney, depending on the situation, and it depends on the abuse, whether the children were involved, whether it was just between the parents, it's very factual dependent. But typically, if there's a restraining order and the other side reaches out and says, look, I'd like to be able to see the children, we'll try to work something out. It might be a short amount of time. It might be supervised. It depends, again, on the situation. But we might work with them to be able to have some parenting time. In this particular situation, the other parent never asked. Dad never asked for additional parenting time, nothing. And the children were listed on the restraining order. So the judge felt there was some reason to list the children on there. We get into family court and the judge went after us and said, you hold the restraining order you have the burden of making sure that dad still has parenting time. And we were all shocked because typically that is not how the judges look at these types of cases. And again, I think that they were wrong. They were absolutely wrong to put the burden on a victim. However, that's where this judge came back. And that's where it's important to kind of know your judges.